From the heart of El Monte City Hall West, it's El Monte Tonight with your host, Arturo Esparza. Tonight's guest, Marion Lopez, owner and founder of ParentingOnYourOwn.com, as well as William C. Elbert, executive producer of Ice Fortress and Shine Bright, as well as George Fernandez of George Fernandez Productions. Special guest, Kiki of Fantastic, and I'm... Yours truly, Jamie Neary. We're going to go ahead and take it away with Brenton Wood. Up here already. Miscommunication. Go figure.
there one day. There it is. Okay, welcome everybody. Just apologize. I wasn't Brenton Wood. We tricked Jamie. It was Trick Jamie week. But that was our good buddy, Jimmy Espinosa, and my good bro who's passed on since then, Mr. Bobby Espinosa of El Chicano. We love him dearly, Bobby. I know you're up there, probably laughing your head off. This is Arturo Esparza and the little show around the corner and up the block from where you live called El Mani Tonight here on beautiful Time Warner Channel 3 and YouTube. You just look up the El Mani Tonight show and you get to get a load of us. And this will be up uh, this night, actually. So we're looking forward to really a fun time. And this comes from beautiful heart of El Monte, California. Forgive me if I'm a little raspy. It's I just went with uh, the cold from hell. <laughs> and it's still hanging in there. It doesn't want to let me go. But let me tell you, we have a fantastic show. It's what we call B-roll land, where we have clippage. But mind people, next week we're going to have uh, uh, another live band. And on the 27th, we're going to have the mayor of El Monte, Andre Quintero, will be on our show, as long as a few other fantastic guests, Mike Boyd, and also the band, the return band of Bob DeSena, who last week just wowed everybody in the building. Okay, just let people know what's coming up. There's a fundraiser on February 9th, 2013, and this is sponsored by Airwave uh, Communications. This is George Fernandez Presents, and it's going to have a lot of bands. Our good buddy, Chico Manqueros, you know, he's been here with the recessions. He's been here with a few other groups, him and Louis Mendez. He's going to be a special guest host for that, MC for that. My good friend Ronnie Solzano from the band Mestizo, the Mad Latins, and the Impulse Band who played here in Almani uh, just a few months back. So you're going to want to come check it out. For more information, call 424-757-8649. I believe that's going to be at the Palm Steak and Seafood in beautiful Downey, California. So you want to go out there and support some of these groups that come out here to support beautiful Almani, California, because that's what we do. We like to help out everybody and anybody who wants to come on the show and uh speaking of which our first guest tonight and we have a bunch of fantastic guests uh, and a small audience you guys can applaud you know it's still alive here because see we get a shot of the crowd and people think we just put mannequins in here but actually we do have people you know it goes this is marion lopez owner and founder of parenting on your own dot com is that what it is a round of applause for this young lady come on You got fans out there. You got oohoos. Yes, that's right. That's always good to know. Thank you, fans. Thank you. <laughs> okay, so glad to have you on the show. Thank you. It's great to be here. Tell us all about it. What is it? What Absolutely. does it do? Where do we so, get some? <laughs> that's perfect. So Parenting on Your Own is actually an online membership community, and it's designed to provide resources and support for one-parent families. And the idea of it is to be able to give the one-parent family, that parent, the feel that they have the same social connections and resources that two-parent families have because they want to raise their children the same way. They want to know that their children are uh, not just healthy, but they're uh, excited to be alive and they're having fun and they're getting a great education. So that's what this is about. It's a way of giving those parents that time a lot of people always wonder why i wonder why all the time yeah <laughs> but anything i wonder why you know there's well why would there be a membership um community why a community for one parent families and a lot of individuals really don't realize but believe it or not there's 13.6 million single parents out there and they're actually responsible for raising 28.6 uh or excuse me 21.8 million children. And if you really break that down, here's the part that gets everybody. It means that one out of every fourth child comes from a one parent family. Wow, that's amazing. Mm -hmm. I was figuring where those points would come from. Uh, one out of four, mm -hmm. 25%? Mm -hmm. Basically, that's what yeah. you're looking at. So what, is that what inspired you to go on to this life of uh, child rescue, rescuing and parents? You know, uh, where it really came from was myself. And so I raised my children as a one parent, uh, you know, one parent family, just me. And what it was is that after a 15 year marriage, it dissolved and I found myself with these two kids and trying to figure out, okay, how do I raise them? What do I do? And I'm an avid magazine reader. Okay. I like to say uh, magazine-holic because I love reading magazines. You're the person that steals them from the doctor's <laughs> office, right? I've seen you. That's, not, that's right. No, 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 no. no. Shirt, walking outside <laughs> that's right. Out. Well, you know, they're easy to read. And there's right. short little messages in there, short articles. And so I thought that was great. And I started reading them to find out 
what can I do? How can I learn to get my kids fed and, you know, uh, do their homework and get them to bed on time, right? And unfortunately, I could never find anything. Working Mother, Parents Magazine, all these different magazines all had interesting articles, but they usually had a small segment, oh, about yay big, that said, uh, if you're a single mom or a single dad... You're out of luck, right? Exactly. Okay. So I that decided we need... Nah. <laughs> <laughs> so we realized, or I realized that people need help out there, and it's not there. If you look up on Google and do a search on single parents or single parent families, what are their outcomes, you're going to find some pretty astounding uh, stats. And the statistics that are there are not nice ones. Uh, they basically say that if you're a child being raised in a single parent home and you're a male, you're going to either become a rapist or you're going to be incarcerated or you're not going to finish high school. And the list goes on. If you're a female, you're going to be a teen mom. You're never going to finish high school. I mean, the statistics are really bad. And yet it's not true. My two children, they didn't fall into those statistics. Mm -hmm. And I'm very proud of them. And they're proud of themselves. And they're very outgoing. And I realize, you know, no one out there reads. I don't think anyone really knows that. Um, the signal flare was actually developed back in the Civil War, and it was actually developed by a single mom who lost her husband in the war. And she had all these kids, and she had to feed them. And she didn't know how. So she shot up a flare. That's right. She shot up a flare to bring them all home. And that's, that was done by a single mom. But who knows that fact? I had to do some real heavy research to get it. So my idea is to bring that information so that uh, single parents can look it up. Children from those uh, families can look up and hear what great things are being done by children who are being raised in single parent families. Do we have any uh, single parents here in, in our group? Raise your hand. Don't be ashamed. <laughs> I'll raise my hand. I was a single parent. I raised my son since there, I was There's eight. another one over there. Look at it. <laughs> you know? And, and it, yeah. And it worked in reverse. I'm the one that came out corrupt and ended up on TV. So I don't know. So the statistics are skewed. Yeah, they are. Absolutely are. You know, and yet you, I had someone ask me the other day and he said, Marion, you do understand that the large amount of individuals that are incarcerated do come from single parent families. And I said, you know, that might be true statistically, but that's not true of everything. My idea is to redefine the outcome or what a single parent family is so that when someone says, oh, I come from a single parent family, they don't go, oh, you poor thing. I'm so sorry. You know, oh, your mom probably doesn't have time for you. Well, then, no, that's not true. That's not true. I think um, what's not out there and you don't see all the time. And again, you could Google this and find the answer. Somebody as well. Google this right now. <laughs> Please get out your Googler. Do the fact finding. Yeah. yeah and actually, sure. um, they say that children from one parent families are closer to their parent than two parent families. Well, that would make sense because, mm -hmm. you know, for example, you got one single parent who buys you all your toys. Right. <laughs> you know, you don't have to, you can't play between both of them. Hey, you know, mom said this. No, that's, you know, and mm -hmm. see, you want discrimination, try to be a single male parent. Oh, people automatically right. assume, you know, that, you know, mm -hmm. the mom, you know, has the child. And when mm -hmm. you have it, it's like, What's wrong with you, right? Right. But no, you know, it's, it's just, uh, it's a kind of situation where you just, it's a commitment. And that's all it is. Yes. It's once Absolutely. again, let's get psychological. Let's get our little psychological soapbox. It's the whole battle of internal versus external. Is it a person's external environment that makes them warped and crazy? Mm -hmm. Or are they, were they born with that sort of nature in them? See, and right. that's what, that's always two schools of thought. Mm -hmm. So I, I, you know, I don't buy that, you know, a single parent. Right. A lot of these kids are getting incarcerated. Maybe it's because they grew up like in the ghetto. You know, it could have been mm -hmm. something like that. You know, mm -hmm. they were exposed to a lot of bad influences. That's all it is. Right. You know, it all comes down to that. I mean, look at, look at little Valerie. She's wonderful. And she's got, she's got millions of people that love her. And she grew, she grew up here in Almani. She did wonderfully. She speaks highly. And she's not even, and you guys do wonderful, don't they? See, she does. See, she's proud. Mm-hmm. That's she's right. Not, see? See, she's not even a single parent. Tell. No, no. Well, see, she's, <laughs> she's hanging in there, man. She's going for her career first. Very good. See? Very good. And were you raised by a single mom? Yes. See? Awesome. And outstanding. Her mom works here, too. I love it. I love it. That's great. So that's why I say, you know, I know how it is. My son, mm -hmm. he's, he just graduated from Dominguez State with a Bachelor of Science, you know, mm -hmm. and I'm so proud of him. And he works at a, at a well-known bank. I can't mention it on the air. But, you know, he came through, and uh, mm -hmm. nobody's whining and crying and saying, hey, Boo hoo, poor me. Right. 
See, and that's what it is. So it's a positive right. reinforcement. You got a support mm -hmm. group is what mm -hmm. you're going here, right? Yeah, basically, right. So the whole website, it's actually, we're going to do our launch uh, April 19th. Okay. And we're going to do a big old party and we'll go live at that time. Party, Valerie. <laughs> we'll let you know. We'll let you know. We'll come back and tell you all about it uh, beforehand so you could be there. But uh, what will happen is that there'll be four different uh, areas that they can go on to on mm -hmm. the website. One will be actually our experts page. And on the experts page, it's actually designed to, if an individual wants to go on there and maybe get a class on how to handle their money financially. Uh, what do I do so that I could have my own home maybe 10, 15 years down the road? What do I need to know today in order to have that? So we're going to have real estate people that deal with mainly single parent families. So they know how to help them and maneuver them through their finances. And these are like straight up, legitimate, honest. Absolutely. Real estate people, because in this day and age, right. like I said, let's be honest, okay? Right. You know, so. Oh, no, let's... it's going to all be very. Where do you find time? <laughs> uh, in between everything else that what I do, you know, you have to, you just have to make it happen. I wanted to do this when my kids were small. My mm -hmm. kids were little and that this is what I wanted to do. And I was told over and over again, Marion, you can't do that because you are the sole supporter of your children. You need to go get a real job. And it's like, but this could be a real job. No, yeah. no, you need to go back. And so I never got to do it. So now my kids are grown and I'm very excited and, you know, because they're great kids. Uh, they're adults now and they are totally in support for what I do. And they understand my daughter says all the time. You need to move faster on this, Mom, because this is so good. There are so many people out there who need it. Well, where's your base of operations? Is it just coming like out of your house? Well, it's basically from yeah, home. Right? We're, <laughs> we're out on the corner. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm at Starbucks. Hey, come on, let's go, yeah. man. Uh, coffee bean. No. There you go. We're actually um, out of Whittier, and okay. we are doing this from home. And since it is on the Internet, that's making it uh, – possible for us to do this from home keeping our dollars down wherever we can of so course our beautiful fan group and residents of Almani can take advantage of this right absolutely they sure can that's why i'm here you know it's the internet so we're going to be open to everyone all over and we're going into each city to mm -hmm. find and make sure that there's meetup groups for them mm -hmm. and we know what is in your city that can help well, you're going to do that for us here in Almaty, I trust. Absolutely, Because, you know, this is a, this is a population of over 100,000 plus, and I'm mm -hmm. sure there's one or two single parents out there. I'm sure there is. Maybe we'll, five. We'll definitely have that for them, definitely, Well, they, they definitely need that, and maybe, you know, bilingual approach mm -hmm. to the course, naturally. Absolutely. So we get more people involved, because these mm -hmm. are kind of positive, life-affirming kind of episodes. Mm -hmm. And I can't imagine where you find the time, but then I, I met uh, Chef Kiki, so I guess everything's possible. Absolutely. Super, you know, when you, woman out there. that's it. When you know you want something and you're driven, you know, you're going to find it and you find the strength to do it. And you get up in the morning, you do what you need to do. You go to your regular job and then in between time you're doing this. And that's exactly what I'm doing until it gets up and running. Yeah. See, I'm the same way. I, I get driven, but they usually leave me there. <laughs> anyway, anyway, it's a round of applause for this young lady. I mean, she's so busy. Thank you very okay, much. Let's not get rowdy out there, okay, you hooligans. <laughs> Don't make me have to call security, okay? If I can just add, one of the things that we are looking at doing now mm -hmm. is that we realize it's really important is we're going to add a nonprofit sector, and the nonprofit will be able to take care of uh, education for teen moms as well as helping them with living. You know, where, where will they go to find their apartment? You know, how can we help them with that? So with housing in right. general. Well, that's so. very important because a mm -hmm. lot of times – not saying that the safety net has uh, sprung a lot of holes, but it's just the fact with all the cutbacks, you don't have right. the kind of full comprehensive services. I know my sister, God rest her soul, had a program called Project Amiga for about 35-odd years right here in Almani, and they helped with uh, teen mothers mm -hmm. to retrain them and get them exactly. back into the system and you know, right. so they, they could uh, continue on on their uh, journey, if mm -hmm. you will. That's right. So I think it's fantastic what you're doing. You know, Thank you, you got to invite us. You got to invite this young lady because whenever it comes to computers, she knows it all. Oh, so good. when you said we're web, her you. eyes were like <laughs> flashing, you know, flags were waving, you know. I know. <laughs> awesome. I'm going to give you my card. <laughs> okay. Well, thanks a lot, Marion. Thank you so much. We want so you to much. come back to the show. Absolutely. Uh, as soon as you, uh, wh when did you say you're going to be starting uh, this up? A couple weeks? It's going to, well, no. The launch is actually going to be on uh, April 19th. Okay. So then we expect the you launch. back in March. Okay. Give us an update. 
And Absolutely. then we can go into it and go in great detail. Okay, great. All right, folks. Thank you very much. We're going to turn, turn it over now to Bretton Wood to make up for my faux pas. Here on El Monte Tonight, we'll be back at you with our next guest, Mr. George Fernandez of Fernandez Productions. Take Thank it away. Okay, that's the long-awaited, promised, lost episode of Bretton Wood. You know, we have people don't realize I've been doing this for 30 years, and I got footage that's never seen the light of day sometimes because of whatever reason they didn't uh, uh, want to air it, whatever, at that time. And we had this Bretton Wood video that we shot back in the old East L.A. Fun Factory, and that was 40 minutes of the lost episode. And prior to that, we had 
the missing episode of Bobby Espinosa from the Midnighters and Jimmy from, I mean, Jimmy from the Midnighters and Bobby from El Chicano with a whole uh, all-star backup band. And that was never seen. So I like bringing these out and we're going to start uploading them to YouTube so people get a chance to see some of this footage, which is historic. And speaking about history and historic people, we have Mr. George Fernandez. Give him a round of applause, please. How you doing, George? Hey, glad to be here, Arturo. Glad to be here. Yeah, this guy is legendary, man. This guy always comes up with all these fine promotions. Like I said, he's got Mestizo, the Mad Latins, the Impulse Band, uh, my good buddy Chico, who's got his own internet radio show. You've got uh, special guest DJs, Ruben Molina and Solera. Is that right? Yeah, Solera. Okay, yeah. Soul Spinners, 5150, and DJ Tony M. Uh, so, you know, uh, what's the deal on this, man? It's a fundraiser for what? It's a fundraiser for the East LA Divas a dance team out of East Los Angeles. They participate. They practice uh, almost three, four times a week at Salazar Park. Mm -hmm. And uh, they'll be performing in Las Vegas. And we're doing the fundraiser to raise money for their transportation needs and their housing needs to represent the beautiful city of East Los Angeles. That's the East LA Divas. And that's the purpose of the fundraiser cool. to raise money for them. And uh, well, let, let me ask you a quick yeah. question because you know we were talking about cities and overlapping, and we have Marion's gonna mm -hmm. you know help out the people in, in Almani as well, yeah. and she's doing it because she's going sure. to internet. Right. You, this is for the East LA divas, but you're doing it in in Downey. Downey. Yeah. How does that work? Well, what it is is uh, we we look for venues that want to contribute to the community, that want to help out the community, uh -huh. as far as giving us breaks on on prices, rentals, food. Uh, an, a, an arena to, to do your show you know we, we don't have to come up with so much money and they're willing they see the need and they're willing to to help us out and the owner uh, Joel at the uh, Palms restaurant nightclub mm -hmm. is one of those type of people that lets you have uh, community functions there so we we, we, we did it in uh, found it in Downey and we have other venues and I've done other venues in different cities but this one is of course a new one and we're excited. It holds about 300 people, excellent food, good location, good community. A lot of, lot of Latinos. Because, you know, I'm, trying to, bring, I'm trying to bring all kinds of talent out of here because Almani's full of yeah. talent. Yeah. Oh, but it's, well, like, like, it's like anything else. you got to prime the pump. Yeah. And what I'm trying to do is I'm bringing a lot of talent from, you know, people I know. In fact, I was going to ask you, you should bring the divas to perform on our sure. show sometime. Sure, there's, no, there's no problem with the divas coming to perform here for... Plus, we have, for the, we have venues here that I'm for, sure you can yeah. make a deal, man. Well, you know, El Monte is legendary because of the... Uh, Legion Stadium. Uh, El Monte Legion Stadium. And a lot of my, my uncles and cousins used to go there and party with Art LeBeau. And, and it was a, the biggest thing in Southern California for Latinos, you know. And that's actually what created Art LeBeau was the city of El Monte and El Monte Legion Stadium. And we have one of our DJs, Ruben Molina and the Solcera. Mm -hmm. They'll be they'll be playing. There are special DJs who will be doing nothing but vinyl, which is like 45s. Vinyl, what's that? <laughs> vinyl records. <laughs> and they'll be doing that. And they'll be doing underground classic Motown oldies that that night. So something special. That's what Ruben, Ruben Molina does. So you'll you'll be hearing doo wop and stuff that you don't you don't hear anymore and Ruben's got a whole uh, slew of uh, records and the and him and Sol said I will be doing that and our other DJ Tony Miranda has a he's actually called a VJ who does videos as well as uh, DV, uh, CDs and what he does is he not vinyl right that's not vinyl okay. but what he does is he uh, shows footage of Brenton Wood, uh, Malo, Tierra, El Chicano, Barbara, Barbara Lewis, all these, uh, Brenda Holloway, all these groups. 